Hello everybody, in this unit, we are going to talk about arrays. Introduction to arrays. Many applications require the processing of multiple data items that have common characteristics. For example, a set of numerical data represented by x1, x2, to an infinite number of x. In such situations, it is often convenient to place the data items into an array where they will all share the same name. For example x. The individual data items can be characters, integers, floating point numbers, etc. However, they must all be of the same type and the same storage class. Each array element, that is, each individual data item is referred to by specifying the array name followed by one or more subscripts with each subscript enclosed in square brackets. Each subscript must be expressed as a non-negative integer. Moving on with arrays. In an n element array, the array elements are x0, x1, x2, x3, xn minus 1. The value of each subscript can be expressed as an integer constant, an integer variable or a more complex integer expression. Here are a few examples on defining arrays. Several typical one-dimensional array definitions are shown below. Index 100, chart text 80, static char message 25. The first line states that x is a 100 element integer array, and the second defines text to be an 80 element character array. In the third line, message is defined as a static 25 element character array. It is sometimes convenient to define an array size in terms of a symbolic constant rather than a fixed integer quantity. This makes it easier to modify a program that utilizes an array since all references to the maximum array size that is within for loops, as well as in array definitions can be altered simply by changing the value of the symbolic constant. Now, let's see some additional example for defining arrays. When defining arrays, specify name, type of array, number of elements. For example, Array type, array name, number of elements, in C10, float my array, 3284, defining multiple arrays, of same type, format similar, to regular variables. Example, in B, 100, X27. It is important to note the difference, between the, 7th element, of the array, and, array element 7, because array subscripts begin at zero, the seventh element of the array has a subscript of six, while array element seven has a subscript of seven and is actually the eighth element of the array. This is a source of off by one errors. Example on arrays. Shown below are several array definitions that include the assignment of initial values. In digits, 10 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, static float x, 6 equals 0, 0 0.250, 0, minus 0 0.50, 0, 0, 0, char color, 3 equals R, E, D. Note that x is a static array. The other two arrays, Digits and color are assumed to be external arrays by virtue of their placement within the program. The results of these initial assignments in terms of the individual array elements are as follows. Remember that the subscripts in an n element array range from 0 to n minus 1. The results for the first example are as follows. For the second is. And this is for the third one. 
all individual array elements that are not assigned explicit initial values will automatically be set to zero. This includes the remaining elements of an array in which some elements have been assigned non-zero values. Example 2. Consider the following array definitions. In digits 10 equals 3, 3, 3, static float x, 6 equals dash 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.25. The results on an element by element basis are as follows. The results are as follows. In each case, all of the array elements are automatically set to zero, except those that have been explicitly initialized within the array definitions. Note that the repeated values, that is 3, 3, 3, must be shown individually. The array size need not be specified explicitly when initial values are included as a part of an array definition. With a numerical array, the array size will automatically be set equal to the number of initial values included within the definition. Let's see another example on arrays, example 3. Consider the following array definitions which are variations of the definitions. In digits equals 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, static float x, equals, 0, 0 0.25, 0, 0 0.5, thus, digits will be, a 6 element integer array, and x, will be a static, 4 element, floating point array. The individual elements, will be assigned, the following values. Note the empty brackets in the array declarations. Strings, for example, character arrays, are handled somewhat differently. In particular, when a string constant is assigned to an external or a static character array as a part of the array definition, the array size specification is usually omitted. The proper array size will be assigned automatically. This will include a provision for the null character O which is automatically added at the end of every string. Program tracing, example 1. Take a look at the following codes and try to understand it. These are the values resulting from the program in example 1. Program tracing. Example 2. Try to identify the output for the following program. The resulting outputs for example 2 are as follows. Program tracing. Example 3. Try and identify the following program. The resulting outputs, for example 3, are as follows. Example 4. Try and identify the output, for example 4. This code is part of example 4. The resulting outputs, for example, 4, are as follows. 